guys. Um, I changed the lighting up a little bit, so I'm hoping that that will alleviate the yellowness that sometimes turns up in my videos. Um, so I did another super dramatic look, so that means it's going to have to be the last one for a while because I don't want to get redundant, which I think I've said before, which is redundant. Um, so start out with Urban Decay Primer Potion and put it underneath too. Be really gentle. And I'm going to show you, I swatched on my hand first. I'm using blue-brown pigment over black track fluid line and this one up top, these are both over black track. This is dry and that's wet and I think it looks better dry. It looks more greenish blue than like, it looks grayish blue. And then this is just over Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's really reddish brown with like a blue tinge so I prefer it over the black and dry. So I'm going to use Black Track Fluid Line and um, my e.l.f. concealer brush and apply that to the lid and into the crease. You could use your finger if you wanted. Take it up too high. And blend it a little bit with your finger. All right. And then I'm going to take blue brown pigment on my 239 brush. And this is blue brown. And it'll fall so you can't see it. Anyway going to get that on my brush and tap it off. You can already see how pretty it looks. Try not to get it up above the black because it, it'll turn brown and um, I tried it with just using blue brown and the black and um, it doesn't look very good once it turns brown with this. It looks really pretty. I think this would make a really good like party look if I actually went to parties. Um, then I'm going to take Ether in my 217 and I'm going to dip it first into just this dark area. You could probably use like Carbon or Deep Truth or something for this if you don't have ether. I take this along the edge. And it does it looks kind of similar to this color, just not as uh, I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't it's not as shimmery in the same way. Go in small circles as you go side to side, and that'll blow out the color. Sorry, my elbow's on the desk. It's shaking everything. And then you can touch up on the lid if you need to. I didn't even get any more on the brush. Then I'm going to to wipe it off first. I'm going to take my 219 into this really light patch. It's a silvery, silvery blue color. You could use mutiny pigment for this if you don't have either. I'm going to put this in the inner corner and drag it up to blend with the darker color up here. Just blending a little more with this. 
with the 217, just blending the edge. Then I'm going to take my 224. My nose itches and I'm afraid I'm going to wipe all of this shit on it, on my face. Um, I'm going to use vellum and my nail polish looks like crap. And that's going to be my highlight. There isn't really anything on my brush when I'm bringing it over here. I'm just blending. Alright. It looks pretty good. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel Black Eyeliner and line both of my water lines. And then I'm going to line the bottom. Be gentle with Oh, I just got it in my eye. Um, when you pull your lid down like this, be really gentle. You don't want to be aggressive with it. Doesn't matter if you're young, you'll still get wrinkles a lot sooner than you would if you didn't do it. Once you get that, I'm going to line underneath on the lower lid in this corner. Still being really gentle, you don't want to go completely crazy with this. Okay. And then I'm going to take that 219 and smudge it a bit. After I do that, I'm going to put blue-brown pigment underneath with the 219. Make sure you tap it off. And then I'm going to apply mascara. If you wanted to, you could apply false lashes. Um, I haven't a clue how to, and I don't think that I need them, and I have really sensitive eyes, so I'd probably want to rip them off about six seconds after putting them on. So I'm not even going there. And that's it. So, I never know what to say at the end of videos. Bye.